breathing. We all have to do it. We can't live without it. It's a natural reflex. But practicing breathing consciously, doing breathing techniques, has a huge impact on how we feel and how our body functions. I'm Dr. Nishi Bhopal. I am a physician specializing in psychiatry, sleep medicine, and integrative holistic medicine. So I'd like to start by posing three questions to you. The first question is, what is your breathing like when you're stressed out? You may have noticed that when you're stressed or when you're anxious, your breathing is more shallow, that it's more rapid, and then it comes from up here, higher up in the chest. So when we're in a state of stress, our body interprets that as being in a state of danger. So our breathing changes accordingly. So it's almost like uh, you're breathing as if you're running away from a tiger, um, evolutionarily speaking. That is how our body interprets danger. And so that results in shallow, rapid breathing. The second question is, what's your breathing like when you're calm and when you're relaxed? So you may have noticed that when you're in a calm state, your breathing reflects that, that your breathing is um, more deep, that you're breathing from your belly, and that you're breathing at a slower rate. The third question is, how would you feel if you were breathing like that all the time? There are so many benefits to breathing techniques, and the research supports this. There's so many studies showing that breathing techniques can help with our stress, with our mood, with our cardiovascular functioning. Specifically, one of the things that breathing techniques do is that it helps to balance the sympathetic and the parasympathetic nervous system. The sympathetic nervous system is the fight or flight, fight, flight, or freeze part of our nervous system. So that's what's activated when we're in a state of stress. Um, and that's what's activated when our, when our brain interprets uh, a stimulus as dangerous. The other aspect of the nervous system is parasympathetic. That's the rest and digest part of our nervous system. So that is what's active when we're in a state of calm, when we're at ease, when we're in our flow, we're in our parasympathetic nervous system. So breathing techniques can actually help to activate the parasympathetic and quiet down the sympathetic nervous system. So a couple of other benefits of practicing breathing techniques regularly are improved immunity and improved lung function. Um, these are particularly important right now during the pandemic. So practicing breathing techniques regularly can help boost our immune system and help improve our lung function. And this is particularly helpful if you have asthma or another um, you know, breathing or lung related condition. The first thing is to simply notice your breath. So simply notice it, nothing to do, just pay attention to it. And you can pick a checkpoint um, during the day or a few checkpoints. So maybe when you sit down to start work or when you sit down for a meeting or sit down for a meal, just take a few seconds just to notice how you're breathing. Like I said, nothing to do, just notice it and pay attention. And over time, paying attention to it will also help you feel more in the moment and feel less stressed. So noticing your breathing without, doing, without taking action on it can actually have a positive impact on how you're feeling and how you think. The second tip is to take a complete exhalation. So oftentimes when people are practicing deep breathing techniques, there's a tendency to focus on the inhalation and that can sometimes make people feel more anxious. So what you'll wanna do is for deep breathing, you'll wanna make sure you're focusing on your exhalation, keeping it long and slow, longer than your inhalation, and also making sure that the exhalation is complete. Tip number three is a specific technique that you can try that is very effective and very easy, and this is called box breathing. Box breathing is a technique used by the military. In fact, Navy SEALs learn this as part of their training. And of course, they work under high pressure, high stress situations. And so this is something that we can bring into our daily lives that just takes a few seconds and can help to deal with stress. So box breathing is simply breathing in for a count of four, holding it for a count of four, exhaling for a count of four, and then holding it again for a count of four. A fourth technique that is really simple and really effective is the four, seven, eight breathing technique. Uh, so this is inhaling for a count of four, holding for a count of seven, and then exhaling for a count of eight. A fifth technique you can try that is super effective is the alternate nostril breathing technique. Um, this is a technique from yoga. You may have done this in a yoga class before. What I recommend is to learn this either with a yoga teacher who's been trained in this, in this technique 
or to watch an instructional video for detailed instructions because there is a specific way to do it right and you want to make sure that you're doing it correctly. So breathing is a free, renewable resource. We can all do it. We all have access to it. Um, so start slow and start small. So pick, you know, um, one of these techniques. Um, I'll give you a challenge actually over the next week. Uh, do a few minutes or a few seconds even of one of these breathing techniques or more than one if you choose and pay attention to see how you feel over the course of the week after doing this daily. If you found this video helpful, please click the like button and please share with anyone who could benefit from this information.